stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. Thor News presents... All right, ladies and gentlemen, with 500 days to climate chaos and the 500th day less than a month and a half away, I think I'm going to have to start kind of covering the weather again. But I'm going to try and do it in a way where no major defense contractors or covens get upset. All right? Because when you make videos, somebody always gets upset. All right. And apparently, a lot of people claim the weather. Anyway. And those people kill people, so was I talking about dumb shit, of course, so don't listen to me. Just one week after Typhoon Sao Delor raked Saipan, Taiwan, Japan's Raikouk Islands, and Southeast China, the tropical West Pacific has recharged with a pair of typhoons. And as expected, one of them has begun to intensify rapidly. Unfortunately, it is the one that's almost guaranteed to affect more land masses in the days ahead. To the west of Guam and Saipan is Typhoon Goni, which began a period of rapid intensification Monday morning, Sunday evening, mainland U.S. time. As of 11 p.m. Eastern Sunday, the U.S. military's Joint Typhoon Warning Center said Goni's winds had skyrocketed to 130 miles an hour, 40 mile per hour increase from six hours earlier. Wow, that is fast. This is the equivalent of jumping from category Category 1 to Category 4 on the Sapphire Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale. Goni affected Guam and Saipan as a tropical storm with storm winds and heavy rain Friday through Sunday and will likely threaten parts of East Asia late this week. Meanwhile, Typhoon Atsane is currently churning several hundred miles to the east coast of Goni and developing more gradually. Now we have seen an amazing amount of hurricane form in the west west pacific and head and head over taiwan china japan vietnam those kind of areas so we are keeping an eye out with low wind shear a moist atmosphere and ample ocean heat content at sunny is expected to join goni as a strong typhoon in the coming days it's possible both typhoons could be equivalent in strength to a major hurricane at some point this week. Two threats to Asia ahead? Yes, sounds like it. As Typhoon Goni continues to move away from Guam and northern Marin Maria Mariana Islands. Rapid intensifications is underway. The system may attain super typhoon status. Sustained winds at least 150 miles an hour as early as Monday. Wow. Prayers and good wishes and proper thought to all people in the eye of these oncoming storms. And we all people of the planet need to keep an eye out just in case that 500 day climate change chaos guy was right. And we also need major plans for preparedness nobody's really big into making plans these days nobody's really big into making plans these days for one weird reason or another <clears throat> and east coast though it's been very quiet in the atlantic i trust my fellow youtuber jay j Force 409 on their guesstimate that there is a possible storm coming from the south coming from the south african atlantic side with the possibility of East Coast, Florida, or Gulf Coast landing in a hurricane-type situation in a week and a half to two weeks. We will keep our eye on that one for you. But remember, the 500 climate change day is like September 24th, I think. So, I'm just trying to keep you guys updated. Yeah, I get in trouble for you guys all the time. And I still get a bunch of people bitching in my comments. Blah, blah, blah. Me, 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 me. I'm unhappy, you. Man, really? Okay. If you only knew. Steered by high pressure aloft just south of mainland Japan. Goni may eventually pose a threat as a strong typhoon anywhere from the North Philippines to Taiwan or Japan's Raikuku Islands, including Okawana, Okinawa, late in the new week ahead. Parts of eastern China and Korean Peninsula may be threatened early the following week. Goni appears likely to make a hard right toward the north, but it's still unclear how far west it will go before making the turn. An earlier turn would mostly spare eastern China, while a later turn would mean a greater risk for eastern China and the Koreas. But that's just the first typhoon. What about its twin to the east, Typhoon Atsani? Current indications suggest that the eastern system, instead of the following in the wake of the first system, will instead track more toward the northwest in days ahead. This is expected to occur thanks to a weakening, a weakening upper atmospheric high pressure zone to its north. This would keep Atsani well northeast of Saipan and Guam, if it holds true. However, Atsani may eventually pose a threat to mainland Japan late next week or early in the following weeks, if the jet stream doesn't curve into the open waters of the North Pacific in time. Sunday's late morning computer model forecasts continue to disagree on this point. Man, I bet it's hard to really pick up hurricane path. We like picking a tornado path, but different. Active Northwest Pacific typhoon season, including the two typhoons and Halalola, which migrated westward from the Central Pacific Basin. There have already been 16 named storms so far in this year in the Northwest. I called it. I said there's going to be a ton of them. All right, you can go back and check that out. It's true. 14 of those have become typhoons, equivalent to hurricanes. And five of those, Mesak, Nul, Dolphin, Naganaka, Sodelador, became super typhoons, packing sustained winds estimated of at least 150 miles per hour. And I remember I thought it was trippy that one time there was like five typhoons or tropical storm, storm systems in the Pacific. That was, that was a weird sight to see. 
Anyway, somebody called the El Nino, which is a lot of cause of all this, or the El Nino, Godzilla El Nino. So I gotta make a video about that, right? Like anytime you put Godzilla in front of it, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna make a video. Because Godzilla is fun, metaphorical imagery. God bless everyone. Stay cool. We're just talking about the weather, man. Wow, it does look like a woman with her bosom and her hips. Come here, baby. I mean, jeez. Do I have to be such a pig? <laughs> Whatever. And look, we got our three anti-swirlies up here. And then we got one building over here. And then we got those bad boys. Oh, they're nasty looking. What the hell? Just flipped on me. Mm, that's weird. Forgive me, but they do kind of look like boobs. Giant typhoon boobs. With doilies? Well, that's not what you call them. But they are no joking matter. This is very serious. Um, so please, send out some love. And use your heart to steer those things into a direction where nobody gets hurt. If you can. Wow, look at how nasty that one is. And they're like feeding off each other. I've never seen a eye like that. They're mesmerizing. This is the whole reason I did the video. When I went to check them out on earthnullschool.net, I looked at them and was just like, wow. Like, look at the eye of the left one. That's trippy, man. Don't stare at it too long or it'll stare into you. Well, look, at, look how it's causing straight line zigzags. Look at the diamond in the middle. Nutty. All right, we're done. God bless. All right, well, God bless everybody.